Welcome. Hello, Electron Eaters. Well, as you know, here at Retro Recipes, we love nothing more than restoring these old classic machines. And in the last couple of episodes, I've been restoring this Macintosh Plus. But when I showed myself discharging the cathode ray tube by connecting a screwdriver to this ground lug, a few eagle-eyed viewers thought they spotted something a bit strange about my video. The power cable, and therefore the ground, was disconnected while I discharged it. And this led to one or two comments. Three. Uh, uh, well, six. Okay, there were 57. But wait, I've seen videos by Jan Bieter or the 9 bit guy where they too discharge a CRT with no cable connected, just a screwdriver connected to the chassis, as I did. And I can see how that looks counterintuitive and why so many comments said I should have left the mains cable connected. So are we doing it wrong? Yes. I mean, no. And actually, to leave the power connected would be dangerous. But don't take my word for it. As always with my videos, I've teamed up with the world's preeminent expert with the highest credentials before I bring you this information. Bjork. Wait, Bjork? Hello. It is Christmas time and I'm sitting here by my TV. I've been watching it very much lately because I'm on a holiday and I've been seeing all those programs about all sorts of things, about Icelandics being very uh, happy about Christmas, very gay. But now I'm curious. I've, I've, I've switched the t TV off and now I want to see how it operates. So... I'm not convinced the sound guy there understands the concept of television. <laughs> this is what it looks like. This looks like a city, like a little model of a city. And all the houses which are here, and streets. This is maybe an elevator to go up, up there. See, I told you she was an expert. And here are all the wires. These wires, they really take care of all the electrons when they come through here. They, they, they take care of that they are powerful enough to get all the way through here. I read that in a Danish book this morning. Back to our little city. Man, if Bjork doesn't give you ASMR, nothing will. But although Bjork showed us one possible way to discharge a CRT there, by nearly tasing herself, discharging it into her fingers, she didn't tell us the correct way. Eee, don't touch that! But she does at least go on to make another great point. This is a millions and millions of little screens. So all that's on TV, it just goes directly into your brain and you stop judging if it's right or not. So you just swallow and swallow. This is what an Icelandic poet told me once. And I became so scared to television, but then later on, I stopped being afraid because I read the truth, the scientific truth, which is much better. You shouldn't let poets lie to you. Now, I'm not saying the comments I got weren't a form of poetry, but at the end of the day, the only thing that matters with any subject is the scientific, uh, scientific truth, because that's what will keep you safe. And on that point, I'm sure it goes without saying, but as with any video on YouTube, obviously engage common sense, you try this stuff at your own risk, and I'm not responsible if you kill Bjork. So don't try this at home. Try it at Walmart. Through your aisle 14, please. Oof. Yeah. So anyway, here's why it is best to discharge a CRT with no ground connected. You see, a cathode ray tube and its circuit is basically a big capacitor. Here's a normal capacitor, and as you may know, a capacitor's job is to store energy between metal plates inside it. This can help smooth and regulate power flow on the board, and it does this by collecting a positive charge on one plate and a negative charge on the other plate. And being retro recipes, we love plates. <clears throat> so with this 250 volt capacitor, for example, and to simplify things down, one side stores a positive charge and the other side stores a negative charge. That's why capacitors have polarity, with a negative pin always marked in this way. And a CRT is like a big capacitor, and likewise stores energy. 
So back to our regular capacitor for this example. And let's say we need to discharge this capacitor to safely work around it after we disconnected the power. And if there was no discharge resistor, well, the accepted method is to simply short circuit the positive and negative terminals. So let's demonstrate this with the help of my friend Adam in his lab from the channel Adam's Lab and a large car audio capacitor. And now you can see exactly why you don't need any cable connected to ground. When you short circuit the positive and negative terminals, all the electrons rush out of the capacitor and are converted into light and heat. And that's the spark you see here. They don't go to ground, they go into the ether, our atmospheric. And so it is with a CRT. And let's assume it's built up a positive charge of static electricity inside the tube. This means the metal chassis of the screen, including the handy ground lug I showed, is the negative terminal that connects to the cathode. Again, a positive and a negative, a bit like a capacitor. So to discharge the CRT and make it safe, you simply short circuit between the positive and the negative. In this case, we use a screwdriver. And just like with the capacitor, sometimes you'll hear a little zap sound indicating that it's been done. And that's it, there goes your energy, safely converted into light and heat. And whatever dangerous voltage was inside there becomes zero. We didn't connect that capacitor to ground when we discharged it, and we don't need to connect this either. Then you can remove the anode from the tube. And if you've done everything correctly, as I demonstrate here, in theory, it should be completely safe to touch. Ah! Just kidding. Forgive my little artistic license there. Here's the unedited clip. Oh, but speaking of getting zapped, have you seen the new Kickstarter for next year's Zap 64 annual? I'm a proud backer and you never know, I might even have been asked to feature in the annual itself. Either way, it's always incredible to me that these things are still even being published. So feel free to show your support to them. Check out the description for the Kickstarter link. But don't take my word for it or Bjork or Neos, of why you should discharge with the power disconnected. One of the best Macintosh repair guides out there is Mac Repair Notes, and in it, Thomas H. Lee of Stanford University issues this warning. He also goes into a lot of handy detail on repairing the PCB. Speaking of which, did you know that I recommend PCB Way? And speaking of flashes, they've got a flash sale on right now with up to 30% off. Because as we all know, PCB stands for Prevent Cathode Bangs. Doesn't it? Okay, so hopefully you can see why there's no reason to ground the chassis. It literally adds nothing to the equation. But why not ground yourself or the chassis anyway just to be safe, I hear you ask? Well, to lethal reasons. One, if you connect to a mains ground, your safety is at risk. Split neutrals and bad earth wiring is unfortunately all too common in household electrical wiring, particularly older houses. So when you touch the chassis, even with the live switched off, you could actually be touching up to 240 volts. And number two, you definitely shouldn't ground yourself. Why? Well, I'll just leave this here. But there is another, even easier and safer, for you if not the floppy drives, way to discharge a CRT. Simply turn up the brightness while the machine is on and yank out the plug. A useful tidbit again there from Apple repair specialist Thomas Lee. So there it is, the correct and safe way to discharge any cathode ray tube display. Powered, as always here at Retro Recipes, by science and a Facebook poll. 
Well, that's all for now. But if you learned something today, feel free to subscribe, check out my Patreon or any of these things that help me keep making these videos for you. Now I'll be back soon with the finale of that Mac repair, hopefully. Until then, you are now discharged. So comment below and cheerio. Looks like a city, like a little model of a city.